As its name implies, dry media is the general term for any drawing material that does not require liquid for dispersion. With dry media, darkness and line quality are determined by both the hardness of the tool as well as the texture of the surface to which the tool is applied. Paper with more texture, such as many handmade papers, have a greater amount of surface grain, which is also known as tooth. Under a magnifying glass, the tooth of a paper looks like a bunch of little pockets. These pockets are what grab and hold the drawing medium to the surface of the paper. The more tooth a paper has, the more readily it receives the marks from the drawing tool. Very smooth papers, like the paper from your home printer, lack tooth and are therefore less able to hold medium. Graphite is a carbon-derived mineral that has been a very traditional drawing medium for centuries. As a drawing tool, graphite is often sold in the form of a filled wooden pencil or as a dense stick. Graphite has a slick, shiny quality and it varies in value from light to dark. With all tonal drawing tools, the scale of lightness and darkness is measured on a continuum from H to B, or hard to black. The H's are the lighter end of the scale because they are the harder substance than the B's. A hard stick of graphite is going to show up lighter because it is physically more difficult to crumble the medium onto the surface of the paper. The B's, on the other hand, show up much darker because their substance is softer than the H's. B's crumble very easily and are caught readily into the tooth of the paper. On this scale, 9H is the lightest value and 9B is the darkest. The center value, HB, is the hardness used in standard number two writing pencils. The previously mentioned ocean and desert views of via Selmans are examples of graphite drawings. Graphite can be erased by using any number of erasing tools. The rubber eraser is a hard pink eraser, the same type found on the end of a yellow number two pencil. The firmness of this eraser makes it ideal for digging through thick layers of medium. Since it is so tough though, the rubber eraser has a tendency to rip through thinner papers. Although it is still ideal for erasing heavier pockets of medium, the white vinyl eraser is not quite as firm as the rubber eraser. Some people prefer this eraser because it is gentler on the paper and does not potentially leave behind a stained pink streak. The white vinyl eraser is often included on the end of mechanical pencils because it is ideal for drafting. The art gum eraser is a soft rubber eraser that is very gentle and is also used for drafting purposes. It crumbles much more than the other erasers, and draftsmen generally need to use a horsehair brush to clean up the cr mess of crumbles that the art gum leaves behind. Finally, the kneadable eraser is a soft eraser that has the consistency of taffy. It does not have hard edges like the other erasers, so it's not generally used for heavy erasing. Unlike the other erasers, the kneadable eraser does not crumble away as it erases. Instead, it picks up the medium, as illustrated in this comparison between a new and old kneadable eraser. It can be stretched like silly putty to disperse the medium that it has incorporated. Once this eraser is saturated with too much medium, it will no longer erase and it must be disposed of. Like graphite, colored pencils are generally found encased in a wooden pencil. They are delicate like graphite and can be easily erased using any of the firmer erasers mentioned before. Colored pencils come in a variety of colors which are made from pigments mixed with a binder such as a cellulose gum. Unlike graphite, colored pencils are not rated on a hardness scale, although the fillers in colored pencils often make them relatively hard. This means that they are generally light upon initial application and can be gradually darkened. Although colored pencils are often used as a sketching medium, not many fine artists use colored pencils to create their finished works. 
This may be because we tend to associate colored pencils with other childish mediums, such as wax crayons. Artist grade colored pencils differ from their youthful counterparts, though, in their quality of pigments and binders. Yoshimoto Nara is a contemporary Japanese artist who exploits the childhood association we have with this medium. His drawings are intended to look as if they were drawn by a child instead of a grown man. The bold, cartoonish lines of these characters convey a sense of innocence and youthful peculiarity that an audience of any age can relate to. This study by the contemporary American artist Kiki Smith is also drawn with colored pencils. She executes it with a more traditional level of formal consideration than Nara, but it still captures notions of childhood fairy tale like fantasy.